everybody welcome back to my channel i know i'm in a bit of a weird position right now but there is a reason behind that this is a collection video um so it was requested by one of you guys out there um that i show you all the nail varnishes that i have in my collection i do do my nails but not particularly often just because i don't really have the time um but i do really enjoy nail stamping i have got a nail stamping collection video somewhere I'll link it um, but this is just the nail varnishes that I have in my collection um, just to show you what I currently have okay so to start with we have the uh, model zone collection these are um, like a metallic um, which are very much um, like a, a, a foiled finish these are these are really good for stamping with and uh, using for backgrounds. Okay. I next have a collection of OPI minis. Uh, I got these, I think they were a Christmas collection about two years ago um, and they're still going strong. You get about 10 sets of nails out of each one of these. Um, so they are really good value for money and then you get to try out some really nice colours. I'm actually a really big fan of this um, sort of greeny colour. Not quite sure what it's called but it's very very pretty. Okay, I have two nail varnishes by Next. Uh, I picked these up in the sales. Um, about two years ago um, and they're just really lovely bright vibrant colors I think this one's called Lagoon and this one is Violet um, and they were just lovely affordable nail varnishes and just a bit different so next we have Ciate. Um, I actually think Ciate are my favourite brand at the moment for nail varnishes. I think they are really, really good. And um, this is the most recent colour I got. It's like a grey colour, which is really on trend at the moment. But I have a couple of their nail varnishes and I have a really nice selection of quite muted and brights and glitters. And they are just really nice nail varnishes and last really well. Next we have some Nails inks. Um, I do have one gel effect and um, I have the Unicorn um, Hollow kit which I have done a tutorial on which I, and I played around with it and tried it. Um, the I do like these new bottles but I do find that they are really big and bulky and don't really sit in my collection very easily. I do prefer the uh, older style bottles. I think they're a bit more, um, uh, more of a better size, um, and you get uh, a better shape so that you can put them away with the rest of your nail varnishes a lot more easily. So next we have some nail varnishes from Essence, um, they are a very affordable brand um, and they just brought out a couple of really crazy colours, um, they just brought out some really crazy colours a few years ago which I thought were quite different and this is like a really strange kind of like pale green, then they brought out a really pale grey and then this crazy ass glitter which I love, but is a real pain to get off your nails. I also have a Essence top coat. And then the other affordable brand that I have got is the And then the other affordable brand that I've got is the um, Field Day Collection by Collection. And they were just like really nice kind of like pastel-y muted tones which were really pretty which came out about two years ago. I don't think I ever wore this pinky one but I did wear the coral and this one. Okay. 
Okay. I have one very sparkly nail varnish by Kiko. I have two Makeup Revolution nail varnishes. One by this company. I've got a very old Stargaze. Um, this has pretty much had it and needs to go in the bin. I've got this crazy colour by H&M, which I absolutely love. And I've got one uh, Mervelda and bright orange nail varnish. Next we have some Sally Hansen. I do have another Sally Hansen, but I'm not quite sure where it is. But these are um, like the like fake gel range that they brought out, um, which are yeah quite interesting. I then have like a batch, I've got two bottles of uh, Leighton Denny top coat, one of their whitener, um, I've got a gel top coat and I've got a silver by them as well. I do really like Leighton Denny, I find their nail varnish is really good quality. And finally just at the back there you can see my um, collection of Moyu stamping nail varnishes. I have 27 in total. Um, ranging in a variety of colours. Um, most of them I haven't opened but just so you can kind of get an idea of the quality. Um, the There we go. So Moyu London have a nail stamping range. Um, they're great for nail stamping. They also do a selection of just nail colours which I do have in my collection and just um, yeah, so that one's there's just like a nail lacquer. That one there, which is a very pretty kind of spring colour. Um, but that one there is a stamping polish. So guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing my vast collection of nail varnishes um i do feel like i've got far too many they are, do consume me sometimes and i feel a bit overwhelmed but at the same time i do think i do have a nice selection of different colors for every occasion under the sun um so yeah if you ever want to see me do any nail stamping videos please let me know or use any of my nail varnishes in any tutorials please let me know um yeah and that's everything from me i hope you're having a fantastic day don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Take care.